Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Marissa Avanzato, and I'm the president of the National Honor Society of Communications. I would like to begin by welcoming everyone to the Lambda Pi Eta, also known as Omega Psi, induction ceremony. Lambda Pi Eta was initiated by the students of the Departments of Communications at the University of Arkansas and was then endorsed by the faculty and founder, Dr. S Stephen A. Smith, in 1985. The Speech Communication Society established Lambda Pi Eta as an affiliate organization in the official National Honor Society for Undergraduates in 1994. <coughs> in February 1996, Lambda Pi Eta was inducted in the Association of College Honor Societies. There are currently 344 active chapters worldwide. To be eligible for admission to the Omega Psi chapter of Lambda Pi Eta, undergraduate students must meet the following criteria. Number one, they must have completed 60 semester credit hours or 90 quarter credit hours. Number two, they must have a minimum cumulative GPA of 3.0 for all courses taken. Number three, they must have completed the equivalent of 12 semester credit hours in communication studies. Number four, they must have a minimum GPA of 3.25 for all communication studies courses. Number five, they must currently be enrolled as a student in good standing as determined by the institution's policies. And number six, they must rank within the highest 35% of one's class in general scholarship. Okay. I'd like to introduce the newest inductees to Worcester State University's Omega Psi chapter of Lambda Pi Eta. Let me add uh, my congratulations to the students today, the student inductees, the officers, uh, congratulations to you, all of you on this uh, great uh, achievement. Uh, I would also like to add my congratulations to our faculty. Uh, the, without this, uh, without our full-time faculty, our dedicated faculty, these types of events could not happen. These students are the best and brightest that we have in our communications program and we are proud to offer them up as such. And today, uh, ceremony students provide to you another step towards that path in that pathway of your careers where today you can, you can start to call these faculty colleagues. Uh, induction into Honor Society begins that pathway even further and takes it a step further, so congratulations for that. So I'm very pleased to be here today. I'm very pleased to be part of this ceremony. Congratulations to all of our inductees, and uh, enjoy the afternoon. Thank you. Because as you move on, you're going to find out that bridges are an important part of your career um, as you move forward and uh, as you take this next great step. They are. Get yourself noticed. Build that bridge. It can only help you. <laughs> but anyway, you work through it, you put in the time, you bear down, and you build those stepping stones to get to the next points in your career. And it's during these tough times you're going to need to have that beacon on the other side to help build that bridge and get you there. So even if you don't see an opportunity right away, it's important to build those bridges and create opportunities for yourself in the future. It's tough building those bridges. It's not easy, it takes a lot of hard work and dedication and passion. But at the end of the day, it can be really rewarding. So go out and build a bridge to your future. The candlelighting ceremony will describe each of these Greek letters. The first mode of persuasion is logos, or logic. In all aspects of scholarship and its application to one's life, logic is, plays a major role in deliberations and problem solving. Pathos, or emotional appeal, the second symbol of our organization's title, encompasses a driving force that makes an organization vital and effective. The last mode of persuasion is ethos, our character, credibility, and ethics. Aristotle sees character, credibility, as a primary means of affecting change in, one's, in society and in one's life. Thus, it is appropriate that ethos is a major symbol of Lambda Pi Eta. The purpose of the Honor Society, according to our Constitution, are to recognize, foster, and reward outstanding scholastic achievement, to stimulate interest in the field of communication, to provide an opportunity to discuss and exchange ideas in the field of communication, to, to promote and encourage professional development among communication majors, to establish and maintain close relationships and mutual understanding between faculty and students, and to explore options for, for further graduate, graduate education. As I call your name, please come forward to receive your certificate of membership and PIN. Shiba Ahmedi. Kenneth Boucher. William Camacho. Congratulations. 
Corey Fannin. Selena Frias. Allison Hassett. Devin Jerzyk. Alex McDougall. Samantha Patterson. And Stephanie Rizzitano. I would also like to congratulate Nicole Bem, Sarah Grinelli, Jennifer Johnson, Courtney Spinelli, and Salvatore Tecci, who will not be in attendance today. Now, let's give a round of applause for our new inducted members. I, I couldn't be more proud of our recent inductees, so um, let's give them another round of applause. We're just the best part about what I do is I work, get to work with students like you um, who really uh, are also eagerly uh, interested in studying more about our discipline. So as stellar members of communication, you've proven yourselves to be engaged and committed students, and I commend you for that. Now, whether you aspire to be a professional in the fields of video production or broadcast, uh, media writing, advertising, public relations, and the growing field of social media, or if you want to engage in graduate study, uh, remember that you all are the ones that constitute now the next generation of media producers and engaged citizens who can make a difference in the world. And given the promises and challenges ahead for us, uh, all of us, as citizens of the local and global world um, that we inhabit, may you continue to persevere with strategic purpose, renewed dialogical inquiry, collegial engagement that is thoughtful, proactive, and visionary. Thank you and congratulations.